Gary, a great result tonight on what's been a sad occasion for the club recently. Yeah, it was a, an unbelievable result for us and you know it's been a sad week for the football club, you know, obviously from last last Thursday when, when Mary Rose took part and, and was put to hospital and put in a life support machine. You know, I've been with the chairman every day since Bar Sunday when, when she passed him. Um, he was in hospital all day and you know, it's it's sad because, you know, Adrian and and, and, and Mary Rose were, were a partnership wherever you've seen Adrian you see Mary Rose and unless he was at the football club and you know it's 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 such a sad time for Adrian and and, 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 and Mary Rose's family as well and you know for us it's it's uh, it's hit us all you know the football club the respect that, that, that Adrian Tier has around this football club is unbelievable um, since I've come to the football club I have to say he's been like a second father to me he's, he's been a He's been through the, the good times, the bad times, and, and as I say, like like every father son relationship, um, you have your rows and you have your disagreements, but you know you always have each other's back in the in the long run, and, and he certainly has had that with me and that relationship with me, and you know probably I'm not gonna lie, probably only for Adrian, I probably we might not have still been at the football club because it's it's a respect and the relationship that we have that, that keeps me at this football club. He's he's a top man. And as I said, if there was ever a time that I wanted to get a result for him, it was today. You know, any wee bit of happiness that we could bring them during this time was is, is, is welcome. And, and thankfully tonight, the, the boys done him proud and got the win. He asked um, for the same hunger and desire that you saw in the second half against Cliftonville. I think he got it anyway. I think we did. He, uh, even the first half, you know, obviously in the first half, uh, there was one chance in the first half and they scored it, you know, a wee bit in the season. Also, I don't know, you've seen the, the, the TV, I haven't seen it, but they said there was a handball and the, the, the ball was out of play as well. Again, I haven't seen anyone at the far side of the pitch, so I can't, I can't say on that. But, you know, at the end of the day, when it gets to where it gets to, I thought there was a bit in the season between Morley and, and Calvin and we should have dealt with it, but we didn't. And a good player like McManaman gets in and then punishes you with a great ball across the box and fighting somebody put in the back of that, which, which they did. And um, yeah, again, we're going in half time, one nil down. Um, but again, I didn't think there was much in it, and you know we turned around at half time. We started with five four one because defensively we went behind two 0 on, on Saturday, and we were, we were we were playing catch up in the second half, and it was too much for us. Um, but tonight we wanted to stay in the game as long as we could. You know, with one goal, there's always a chance. Two goals makes it a bit more difficult. But as I said in the in the second half, you know at half time we were talking about you know we'll we'll change it to. A 4-4-2 after 10 minutes or so, but you know the boys said, why can't we not do it now? So you know they made that decision, and you know have to listen. I don't always take the credit. You know the players take the credit when they cross that white line, and today they have to take credit for a decision they made at half time, and thankfully it paid off for us. Yeah. I was going to ask you as well. I mean, going into the game, obviously with the changes we had to make, a number of players were injured, in, were injured. Were you fearful going into the match tonight, or were you confident in what the ability you had there? Listen, as, as we've seen in at Cliftonville on Saturday, like you're, they're a good side as well, a top side as well, and you know we competed. We, 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 we probably should have got something from the game, even though we gave ourselves a mountain of time in the first half. But you know, no matter how we play, we we can compete. Um, that's that's for sure. You know, okay, we get the other off day, um, like every club. But you know, certainly we we come out tonight. You know, again a makeshift team again. Um, but they've done us proud tonight, and, and as I said, more importantly tonight, and as I keep saying this and I'll repeat myself, it, it was about the chairman tonight and getting that win for him. What about those two goals as well? Two great strikes. Oh, Ribsy's was unbelievable. You know, every time when I'm watching a match and the ball fo falls to Ribsy, he's about to shoot it to go past it. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> if you watch him in training and, and you watch him in most of the games, he, he doesn't score too many and, and you're always fearful of where it'll end up. But, you know, he's hit a couple of them over the years. He hit one at Windsor Park a couple of years back, I remember, and he hit one out here one day as well. So it was a certainly uh, a great finish, great strike. And, and again, Fitzy, again, another good finish as well. Again, I'm delighted for the two wingers to assist again. Connor's ball in the box and Peter's ball in the box, which they want and, and what they need to produce. And, and thankfully they did. But, you know, I thought it was a solid all round performance tonight. I thought the defence, Doyler, was exceptional considering that he sh probably shouldn't have been playing. He's done me a favour tonight and, and, and chipped in and said he'd play. He's struggling with his back, as you can see near the end of the game. He's stretching it left, right, and centre. He's in there, waist on it, and he can hardly move. But that's the type of characters we have the football club, and, and you know, you know, they, they deserve great credit tonight because that's that's a top side. And as I said earlier, in my preview for the game, they'll they'll be up challenge for the league title of the end of the year between them, Corey and Linfield. Make no doubt about that. But it's always good when you can get you can match yourselves against them and, and come out on top. Finally, then Gary, you have Glentorn again on Saturday, which is. An Strange situation to be in again, but here we are. Um, what are the thoughts going into that one? Yeah, it's, it's another tough game. We'll be about another three players, I think. Probably, well, definitely two. Um, two, two guys picked up their their fifth yellow cards tonight, so they're definitely out. Um, and obviously, we'll have to see what Doyle's like, because certainly going by the way he is in there, I don't know if he's going to be ready for Saturday. But listen, we'll wait and see, and, and we'll take it from there.